Okay, this is going to be a uh, four card oracle you pick with diet cross finish for each one. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Okay, I always like to say this is kind of like looking outside to see what the weather's like before you go out. It's a four card <laughs> oracle. Uh, you pick one, two, three, or four. There'll be a dyadic cross finish for each of those four. So you can have a question or several questions or four questions. So um, that's how we'll do it. Okay, so these cards are, are the, just the latest thing, I believe. So this is by the artist uh, is Ciolo, Ciolo Thompson, Ciolo Thompson. And it's, this is called the Line Strider. Tarot, the Line Strider Tarot. Comes in a great box, and it's, it's got some beautiful imagery on the outside of the box, and a nice little introduction back here. Uh, I like this as Body, Mind, and Spirit Tarot. So, very interesting. But uh, the box itself is one of the cool uh, magnetic snaps. It's beautiful. It's got a nice glossy finish. It really feels uh, like a, a precious uh, stationery would come in here. The book is amazing quality. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but like each one of these pages is just there's really good quality. The book is full color, and it's interesting here because it talks just a little bit about Solio Thompson. And I'll just tell you very quickly that she's a self-taught visual artist, and she lives in the Seattle, Washington area. And um, so this is her first uh, deck, so the first published deck, anyway. And then in, over here, she's talking about. This was a journey for her, and uh, the Line Strider deck uh, has got a lot of animal uh, imagery, and that it brings in some uh, tarot images from her childhood. Now, she grew up uh, where? She grew up in, uh, she was born in uh, Western Samoa, and then uh, she also uh, lived in Bolivia. And so uh, she has an amazing uh, childhood, and um, it brought a lot of attention to the cards. So there we go. The book is fantastic. The cards themselves are also pretty amazing but i mean they're a gentle spirit they're a good quality of card you know they're stiff they're uh, slicky but they don't cause a problem they shuffle uh, really well and um, so you know they're just great and then they're very easy to interpret and the reason is that uh, each card really tells you right there uh, what's on the card okay so you don't have to just rely on the imagery but if you really look at what's drawn on there it's pretty amazing i mean and then you start to wonder why did she uh, allow, uh, allow this animal for this particular uh, divination so the beautiful cards good suggestions in the book how to um, you know, use them and i just lay them out like this so you have a chance to look at uh, more than just the few cards that uh, you know reader pulls out when they're we're doing our shtick and then um you know, maybe um, you might decide uh, you like the cards or if you don't see a lot of cards. I know when I was just watching um, this stuff on uh, YouTube, I wanted to see more cards than I was seeing. So there we go. Okay, so this will be a four-card oracle. You pick. So four cards are going to be laid out. You get to choose one, two, three, or four, and then I'll reveal what they are. So take this time right now to just, you know, take a deep breath. Let it out slowly. Settle yourself in, get your mind clear. Maybe stop the tape and go get yourself something to drink. Um, come back and you know arrange yourself carefully. Um, make sure you're nice and comfortable. And while you're doing all of that, you can kind of consider what the question or questions are that you want to um, address the cards with. So there'll be four cards. You'll get to pick one, two, three, or four. And then after they're revealed, I'll tell you if they're yes, no, or maybe cards. And then we'll do a dyadic cross on each one to sort of better define uh, what those might be for you. So four cards for this oracle. You pick one, two, three, and four. Okay. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, you can stop the take, uh, the tape rather, and make a choice. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so we're going to put these over here for now, and start with the first card. 
If you chose number one, this is Justice. Love Justice. This is a big yes card. And uh, Justice uh, speaks to us of finding that balance, that true uh, meaning that's going to really show you some justice. I love this card. You can just see uh, uh, Lady Justice's face right here. She has her hands kind of up, cupping her face, this beautiful sword of truth and justice, and a smaller dagger of maybe rules and law. We have the scales of justice right here uh, to make sure that everything is fair. So justice is this number one card, if that's what you chose, um, and that's a yes card to your question. Okay, if you chose number two, then this is the Empress. The Empress is a beautiful card to get it. That's another yes card. I'm just jotting off to the side, uh, yes, no, and maybe. So the Empress is a beautiful uh, yes card. You know, the Empress is uh, all the bounty that the earth has to offer. It's uh, um, um, an, an, an abundance of what you need for this question. It's a big yes card. So we can see here that the Empress is offering her bounty. She has a sweet little creature here on the side that's caught her attention. This is reminiscent to me of the uh, Lion of Strength. And, uh, and then, so we have the Justice card right here, the Empress card, really letting you know that you have everything it needs to accomplish this task, and it's a nice yes card for you. If you chose number three, then we have the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords speaks to us of making a decision, getting something done. And you can just see it if you study this card for a minute. This is a falcon with a little hood over the falcon's head. Where you would pull this little tab off, and then the falcon would start to look around and see what it is that they need to make to uh, go after. Uh, we're under the um, uh, the moon right here. We have truth and justice right here, uh, rules and law. And so the Falcon also is a yes card, and uh, this Two of Swords is telling you that, yes, you can make this decision, you can get this going, you have truth and justice, rules and law, uh, to help you, help guide your way. If you chose the number four card, then we've got the Knight of Wands. And uh, the Knight of Wands, this is another yes card. The Knight of Wands, wands are action, motion, uh, power, uh, forward thinking, uh, fire, getting something done. And the Knight is the uh, royal card that's going to take that charge and, and make sure that they come back with, as, with a success. It's got a beautiful, sturdy steed right here. Look at the strength in the muscles of this, uh, this animal. And uh, you can see that this knight is right astride there and ready to move uh, forward uh, on this decision. Another yes card. So we've had four nice cards today, all yes cards. We have Justice, we have the Empress, we have Two of Swords, and we have the Knight of Wands. We have Balance, we have uh, uh, Strength that we can do what we have to do. We know that we can make this choice once it's been revealed to us that we need to. And then with the Knight of uh, Wands, we have the wherewithal to get this task done. Okay, so I'm going to turn three of these over, and we'll take this as a signifier card for that first uh, dyadic cross, Justice, if that's the, chart, the card that you chose, Justice. Okay, so we'll get these shuffled up here, signifier card of Justice, that is just a beautiful, a beautiful um, illustration there on that card. Gosh, Justice, Let me get these shuffled nicely. Justice. We're going to take five cards to finish that divination. One, two, three, four, and five for Justice. Scoop these up and then let them work on that energy there. Five cards. So the signifier card being justice, balance, uh, rules, law, having uh, this dagger of truth and justice's sword of, uh, of making this decision. The challenge to that, though, is the magician. Beautiful. So the, this artist has uh, chosen this cute little monkey as the uh, magician in this card. And the magician has all the tools at their disposal to get a thing done. They have pentacles, they have cups, they have wands, they have swords. So everything that you need to find the balance and to move forward in this decision. So the challenge to the justice is not even a challenge at all. It's really an accompaniment of all the tools that you need to find justice. 
The base of this reading then is the tower card. So there may have been some definite stop. And this is a very interesting card. You know, this uh, reminds me of a Chinese pagoda. And it looks here, I mean, these look like two eyes. This looks like a mustache. This looks like this is some sort of a wizened uh, uh, Chinaman. And uh, you can see that there's been some fallout for whatever the decision was. This uh, lightning bolt has run right through it, but it hasn't destroyed the tower. It's just brought an end to whatever that situation is. And wherever there's an end, there's another beginning. So the tower card is what was at the base of this uh, reading. In the past of this reading, we had the Two of Cups. Look at these beautiful Siamese kit cats. So the Two of Cups are partnerships. There could even be a, an oath involved. Um, this is knowing that you come into this with the partnership that you need to make this choice. Okay. Take some time, just like these cats have done. They put their heads together and they're studying what's in this cup of compassion. So take a moment to really study your situation and understand the partnership that you have or maybe that you need and where you'll find it. In the sky of this reading, then, are the lovers. So this is another reinforcement of this Two of Cups with the lovers, um, uh, the six, number six of the Major Arcana. And uh, the lovers tells us in these beautiful, what are these, egrets? So these two um, fowl right here. One is uh, right here with the head leaning over. The other was just behind, peeking over the shoulder. They're completely intertwined here, understanding that they've partnered in making this decision. So in the sky, you want to make sure that you look for exactly what you need to get this decision on the road. And then uh, the final outcome for this is the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is absolutely in charge of getting this action done. This is depicted as a little rodent with a beautiful king's crown. He's got this wand of action, of move, move, movement, of fire, of passion. He can make, become uh, the king of this decision. And so with the final outcome as the King of Wands, that's a very strong indicator that this is going to end up exactly the way it should be. Something's going to happen in this regard. Okay, so that's what we have there. I'm going to incorporate those cards right back into the pack and then move on to the number two card, if that's what you chose. And the two card, then the signifier for that is the Empress. Bountiful, knowledgeable, almost Mother Earth. Okay, this Empress is ready to give up um, all the knowledge, all the nurturing that she has uh, for you to make this big yes decision. Okay, so the Empress, you chose number two, that's your card. And the signifier. The challenge to that Empress then, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, put these over here. So the signifier card being the Empress. And the challenge to that Empress is in this Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands in this uh, deck is depicted as this sly fox really wrapped around that wand, that action, that motion, that movement forward. And this fox is owning uh, this uh, great big Ace, this offer of let's make a decision, let's get a plan, and uh, looking... <laughs> and looking around to make sure uh, that everything's clear before he makes a move. You know, the fox is sly, and he's the challenge to this empress. So there's an abundance here, and it's accompanied by this um, need to make sure that everything's clear before you go forward with this plan. The base of this reading is the sun. Man, this is a beautiful card. Okay, so the sun... <clears throat> is a light enlightened, a big um, reveal uh, given to the to the subject, and it's blossomed in the sunlight, okay? So I can't quite make out what these uh, animals are under here. This almost looks like a little rabbit, and uh, possibly, yeah, it looks like two little rabbits under this uh, bush, and so they're uh, getting ready to uh, move forward now that you've had all this, uh, the sun has nourished this plant and provided all the bounty. So we come into this decision um, with everything that we need. And it's just, you know, uh, reinforced by this Empress and the caution that this fox give us before, gives us before we move forward with our plan. In the uh, past of this reading, we have the Six of Wands, and the Six of Wands is victory. I mean, this is, couldn't be clearer. So these are all plans, motions, uh, actions that have brought us to this point. We've been victorious. If you don't think you have, then just like this fellow, take a moment, look back over what you've done, and you'll see that you have uh, had a fruitful um, part that's brought you into this decision. In the sky of this reading, then, 
is this Five of Cups, which is this Wizened Owl. This is a little sad card for me because it, uh, the Five of Cups is telling us that, that you know we've we've had some of our, our cups, or in this case, the owls had some of their eggs invaded. But if you, if you just look back, and you'll see that you still got two eggs left to nurture. This may be the most the two most important um, uh, pieces of this puzzle uh, yet. So in the sky of this reading, what you want to aim for is recognize that you have something left if you feel like there's been a little bit of a violation here. And something of importance. And then in the uh, the likely outcome for this diet cross for this big yes card is a six of swords. And here they are right here on the on the uh, uh, see this about on the stern of the ship. And so uh, moving out of troubled water. And although this looks like a very serene water anyway, the six of swords tells us that we're going to move on to something better. We've coming from something that maybe wasn't shelter, going to something that's, that is. So whatever this decision is, you're going to move right into it very calmly. And uh, this is a big, big, big reinforcement of that yes, with a little bit of caution, but to understand the, the bounty that you still have. Okay. So that's the number two card, if that's what you chose. The number three card is coming up. You chose that one. This is the two of swords. So this is making a decision, getting uh, your truth, your justice, your plan unveiled. Take that hood off of that falcon and get ready to make that choice. Okay? So we're going to see what is the challenge to this choice that is uh, that has to be made. One, two, three, four, and five. We'll set this over here just to finish up on that last card. So the two of swords making a choice and is challenged by strength. So sometimes, um, and the strength in this card is really um, amazing. This almost looks to me like there's a little figure of a woman here embedded in this picture. And uh, this looks like a beautiful proud lion. You can see the back of the lion right here, the tail whipped around. And when you fall it just up here, you see this is the proud head of the lion, really looking forward, taking control of the situation. And this woman with just a little nudge, a little tug on the uh, shoulder of this lion is gonna be pulled into his strength and, uh, and, and move forward. So the challenge to making this decision is recognizing your strength and taking advantage of it, okay? To let it bring you forward. Uh, the base of this reading then is this page of wands. I always like to say, we can see the page right here. This uh, page is, um, seems to be seated, uh, holding onto that wand of action, of motion. And there's a dragon just over the shoulder with the, the wings right here. You can see this person is looking a little wistfully up out into the distance. Uh, so this woman is bringing this subject uh, with this uh, dragon uh, to the court for uh, determination. This motion, this action, this plan, this is just the beginning of it. So we started this, uh, this yes situation with just the beginnings of a plan and really emboldened by the power of that dragon. In the past of this reading uh, is this Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is typically a broken heart, and it's illustrated here with these two birds in the bush. One is, uh, you know, still has some hope left. The other bird, unfortunately, has been skewered by that sword. And so we have to know that when there's an end to something, there's a potential beginning to something else. So it looks like these two birds are partners. One of them is no uh, longer viable, and the other one has to gather its strength, and move forward, just like we all do. So the past of this reading was some disappointment, but you have what you need to make that decision with strength and with the knowledge of the plan uh, that y you can have. In the sky of this reading is the emperor. The emperor gives us all the authority to make the decision, to make the move that we need. The emperor is telling us, yes, I'm telling you to do this, and it's going to be um, your, your best decision yet. So this emperor gives us all the authority we need to move forward. And then the um, likely outcome of all of this is this Four of Cups. You know, the Four of Cups is a lot of times kind of being offered something that you don't think you're quite ready to take. So in this Four of Cups, let's see if I can make this out. There's a beautiful woman in the, in the uh, background. Uh, she's got her cups uh, all around her. And I don't quite make out what this is, but this says to me that this woman, she's hooded. She's kind of shielding herself from the sun or the decisions that would have to be made. But everything she needs is all around her. All she has to do is get up and start to move forward. And so that's uh, the likely outcome of this is that you will find the strength to move forward on this decision. Okay. 
The last card, number four, that's the one you chose, is the Knight of Wands. You know, the Knight of Wands is the member of the Royal Court whose um, remit is to take that wand, that action, that plan, that motion, and get it going and make it come to fruition. Um, you're not going to be given a plan or an action and expected for it to just sit there and not uh, uh, move. So this knight is going to make sure that this plan gets on the way. Another yes card. I'm going to take five out of here to finish it off. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. We're done with these cards for now. The signifier card being that Knight of Wands, that action, the authority to make this happen. The challenge to that, though, is the sun. So we just got the sun before, and like I said, we've got these cute little rabbits under this bush, really nibbling away at all the nourishment. It's flourishing in the sunlight, and so they have everything they need to uh, to find the energy to uh, make this journey. Okay, so that's the challenge to this night moving forward. Really no challenge at all. Almost an invitation to recognize that you can move forward. The uh, base of this reading is, again, the Six of Wands. I love when the cards repeat. It just tells me that they're playing the game with us. So this Six of Wands is victory, and it's the base of this reading. And how can you have a better start to this decision than building on victory? The past of this reading is the Hermit. Love the hermit. The hermit is wizened and understands what has to be done. And it's depicted in this illustration by this bear. You can just see the face of the bear here. He's peeking out of these bushes. He's got a little lantern around his neck to kind of, you know, light the way. But he's being very cautious before he makes a move, before he comes out of his den. The bear is going to poke around and make sure that the, the, the way is clear and the weather is right and it's the right time to continue that move. We're also going to go back and hybrid it again. So this bear is coming out of his den and it's the past of this reading. It just tells us that, yeah, it's coming out, it's time to move forward, and we have the nourishment to do it, and we started this with some kind of victorious uh, beginning. In the sky of this reading is this Queen of Cups. Beautiful queen, really cherishing this cup of compassion, of emotion. It's just splashed with more uh, emotion and, and good thought. So this queen has given us, again, the authority to say, oh, yes, this is valuable. This is something I'm going to use. Okay. And then the outcome of this is are the lovers. That's perfect. This is the major arcana. Again, the cards are repeating. They're paying attention to what we're doing. These two are the egrets. I don't remember what kind of foul this is, but these beautiful birds are just intertwined around each other, really enraptured to, um, uh, you know, with the situation that they have. So know that when you get this thing going, it's going to end up in just a lovely, a lovely uh, outcome. So these were terrific cards today, and I love it when we have those. It just means to me that the cards are listening. So that's the four cards we had today. I hope you got something out of that. Uh, study them. Uh, maybe go over the tape again, just to, if you need more clarity. If it doesn't uh, hit home for you, maybe it hits home for someone that you know or someone that you're thinking about, someone in your neighborhood, someone in your family. And if it doesn't work for you, then just put it aside, and it wasn't your day-to-day -day for this decision. Uh, but you can pick it up another day, maybe look at this tomorrow, and see if it helps you move forward. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.